there are instances where we want to do a programmatic navigation. In other words, using JavaScript to navigate the user to a different page without the user clicking on a link. This is particularly useful when we want to restrict access for a certain page in our app. For example, if the user tried to access the admin area, we might want to kick the user out. Or if the user tried to visit the app dashboard without logging in, we might want to redirect the user to the login page. In these kinds of scenarios, we'll need to use JavaScript to run a check and redirect the user to the appropriate page. And now, let's see how this thing works in React Router. Let's create a new dummy admin page and I'll show you how it works. I'll create a new folder in our pages directory and I'll call it admin. And in there, I'll create a new file. Then we'll go ahead and add a new route in our app JSX. Now back inside our dashboard file, this is in our admin area and we don't want our average user to come here and party. Typically speaking, we'll use a use effect to run a check when a component was mounted. And a check will determine whether the user is an admin or not. If not, then we'll kick the user out. We don't have any authentication mechanism here, so we'll just hard code the check. I'll just assume everyone who visited this page is not an admin. And now time for the main redirection logic. It's actually quite simple and straightforward. First of all, we need to call a hook function provided by Rack Router, and a hook function is called use navigate. The hook function will return us a navigate function where we can use it to navigate the user around our app. So once we got the navigate function, we simply need to call it inside our if statement. So if the user is not an admin, we'll simply redirect the user to the root. All right, let's test our code now. And just for testing purposes, I'll go to our navbar and add a new link that will send the user to our admin dashboard. All right, let's go to our browser and see if this is working. Now, when I try to click on the admin button in our navbar, the app will simply redirect me to the home page. And that means our redirection logic is working. Let's try to remove the check for now and see if the admin page is rendered properly. Okay, so now when I click on the admin button, we can see our dashboard page. Great. Now, typically, we would wrap our admin dashboard inside an admin layout and we'll put this admin check logic inside the admin layout since it is required by almost all of the admin components. All right, that was a quick intro to the use navigate hook function. Key takeaways for this lesson, the use navigate hook function allow us to programmatically redirect the user. It will return us a navigate function where we can use it whenever we want to redirect the user in our code. That's it for now, and I'll see you again in the next lesson. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for the support.